Annalise Michel, an epileptic, underwent a total of 67 Catholic exorcism sessions through a period of 10 months and died of dehydration and malnutrition. Ay ay ay. Like, at some point, when this is the image you're taking during your exorcism, you have to think, like, are we helping this person anymore? Is, are, they, are they benefiting from this at all? Are they getting something? Or is it just, like, a, a nightmare? A, strictly a nightmare. My goodness. I've read up on this, too. Like, they went, like, for, like, insanely long sessions, like, totally relentless. And, uh, like, like the, the people who were performing the exorcisms, like, were, like, also, like, you know, physically and mentally drained. But, like, the fact that this poor girl, like, instead of, like, getting her any other type of help, they were just, like, bearing down on her. Oh, my goodness. Ruins of Dresden after World War II. Yeah, this, this is something that I don't think a lot of people talk about nearly as often as a lot of the other kind of like horrible things that happened during World War II, but Dresden was firebombed to absolute ash. It was like a beacon of like modern beauty and industry back then, and they weren't like really like a war city, it was just a city in Germany, and they got wiped off the face of the earth by the Allies. Like, so many dead. Uh, if you're a Kurt Vonnegut fan, uh, which I am a big one, like you read a lot about that when he writes, because um, he was in uh, a slaughterhouse uh, underneath the city. Picture of a shell-shocked soldier in a trench who looks like he was driven to madness after seeing the death and destruction during the First World War in 1916. Yeah, this is also like a pretty cla classic uh, creepypasta, right? Like this is absolutely like horrifying. The fact that it's so, like, fully encapsulates, like, the total loss of, like, cohesive thought in this person. It's just lost. Gone. I think they made an SCP out of this one too, right? There's an SCP that focuses on this image specifically. This is another one where it's, like, if you look in the eyes too long, like, you're gonna see something else, right? You stare it down. The, the horrors of war encapsulated right here. This poor guy. Imagine like you can see the images of all the stuff that happened. You can watch the documentaries, but if you weren't there You're not quite uh, not quite getting it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark your place for all things horror I'm your host Keegan Hughes and these are some scary pictures too real to be fake so far We've seen the rake which hmm, but the other two are historical historical from history <laughs> they're, they're real all right my goodness Let's get to it. The remains of the astronaut Vladimir Komarov, who fell from space, 1967. Wow. Yeah, if you showed me this without people looking on, without the caption, I, I would have never guessed that that once was a man. I, I don't even know what to say about that. Like that, just the atmospheric descent busting through. That's why, you know, spaceships are, so carefully engineered. My goodness. So he burned up in the atmosphere like a chunk of space rock. That's wild there's anything left of it must be real. Holy moly. That, that, that would be painful to fall from space and like feel your flesh singeing as you descend. Oh! Oh! It's the rake! I love the rake. This is like a truly like classic creepypasta image. Just the like nude white figure in the woods, in the dark, the glowing eyes looking right at you, looking at the camera. I feel like it's one of those things like if you look at it, like just look in his eyes for way too long, like you'll start to like see more, like the picture will move a little bit or you know, you'll blink and the, uh, the, the image will be burned into your retinas, you know? I'm gonna stare at it. Okay, 10 seconds. Everybody stare right into the rake's eyes and see what happens. I don't know, nothing yet, but maybe I've cursed myself. Maybe tonight he'll be sitting on the end of my bed. That'll be fun. A mummified captain found in a ghost ship. He sailed for seven years after death. Wow, that is ash, this guy. I guess he, was he mummified by like the sea air, the salty air? The, the, I guess the ship just kind of floated out there, eh? Once you're off the, uh, off the radar, there's uh, a lot of ocean that might go unexplored. The poor guy. 
what do you think it was? Like, it was, like, had, like, a heart attack and just sort of slumped over and that was that? Sailing solo? That's dangerous, eh? Going out on a boat solo? Doing anything like that, totally alone. Like, once you're down, you're down. It looks like you had some communications equipment, but, you know, yeah, if you, if you suffer some sort of medical emergency, you're not necessarily getting uh, other people to come to you. Mademoiselle Blanche Monnier, the woman held captive by her mom and brother for 25 years. Oh, God. Oh my goodness, yo, she is emaciated. That is not a healthy, happy person. I've read up on this one too. I did it for a top five list a while back. It's like she was seen as, uh, what, what was it? She was trying to marry somebody below her station, I think. And her mother decided to hide her away forever as punishment and to keep her from doing that, I guess. And just like, let her live in filth in this secret room above the home, fed her nothing but like mush for years. Absolutely horrendous way to treat your family. Costumes. I want to know when this is from. I feel like this could have happened, you know, two weeks ago or a hundred years ago. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, a, a, a creepypasta enthusiast could have, uh, you know, got a bunch of his pals together and said, guys, we're taking a really scary picture with a bunch of really scary masks. Those teeth, eh? Look at them. You think they're made of real human teeth? Nah, they're too big. They're probably ape teeth. They found some gorillas and performed dental surgery on them and took their teeth and put them in these masks. And now they're cursed by the dead apes. Uh, you know what? That's Those are Donkey Kong smiles. They look like Donkey Kong's teeth. These people, these people, they killed him. They killed my boy. Expand Dong. Look at that person's hand. I'm just noticing this now. It's like claws. Yeesh. That's not good. There's there's some cursed energy going on here, especially with the splotches on the paper. Somebody found this like in like the bedroom of their family member who ended up in a cult. And this is like one of their meetings after they performed a bunch of blood sacrifices. Pacific Southwest Airlines Flight 182. Here's another one that is like, yeah, that's, that's real. That's, it's very tragic. It's very scary. I know that something like that can happen how it's caught just like this, sort of like, like above what appears to be like a home, with a, just a dinky little satellite up there. My goodness. Being a passenger, being a pilot, it's unimaginable, truly. Chernobyl. Is this taken at Chernobyl? What is, what is this double exposure going on here? I, 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 I. I don't really know how to explain what I'm looking at here. Like, it looks like there's some workers, one or two. I can't tell if it's like something went wrong with the camera. Maybe it is like the uh, the radiation that's causing it to goof up. That is, yeah, that's like a really hard to imagine situation, like that much radiation melting down. My goodness. And that is all the time we have for today. A lot of these pictures were too real to be fake because they're actually, you know, pictures from history. They, they exist. Humanity has had quite a rough ride ever since its inception. And uh, photography and videography has only existed for so long, but we've captured some really harrowing stuff, haven't we? Well, make sure you stick around for some bloopers. I'm sure I said something kind of questionable at some point. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Number 10. Actually, I'm gonna burp first. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. That was rude, disgusting, and generally uncalled for. And maybe I should have done that before I started rolling, but I didn't feel it until I started talking. So here we are. Okay, this this caption's really long. Hold on. I can't, can I can I get it to <laughs> Mademoiselle Blanche Monnier, the woman helped. Number one, 